coronavirus pandemic has reached another grim milestone in Michigan tonight. The state has topped half a million cases to date. That's with nearly 5,000 new infections reported yesterday and today. The total has doubled since mid-November. Vaccinations will be ramping up this year, but so far only a fraction of the vaccines distributed in Michigan have actually been administered, according to the state's vaccine dashboard. 7 Action News reporter Kim Russell is looking into what needs to change to get those numbers up and joins us live now with what she found out. Kim? Yes, at the national level, we have heard criticism saying that states are not doing enough to get these vaccines into people's arms as quickly as possible. So we took a look at the data here in Michigan and specifically here in Metro Detroit to take a look at how we're doing and to ask the question, can we do better? Leaders of Operation Warp Speed acknowledge the nation has not seen as many COVID-19 vaccinations delivered to patients as promised. We agree that there is a lag. We'll work with the states. We need specific requests for help. So how is Michigan and Metro Detroit faring as health leaders work to get vaccines in arms? While nationwide, just over 30% of vaccines distributed have been administered to patients, here in Michigan, the number is 26%. Taking a look at the numbers as of December 30th provided by the state, and these could change as hospitals update data, the range varies from about 23% in Washington County to 51% in Wayne County and 68% in Livingston County. Washington County Health's public information officer says expect improvements as the holidays are over and staffing levels are ramping up. But that vaccine arrival, those initial am amounts did come in like right before our December holidays. Right now, unfortunately, we have to ration who is coming and at what time and because we have vaccine or we cannot or, or we don't have it. Wayne County's chief health strategist says large events are more efficient than small vaccination events. He also says another challenge is no-show appointments. For example, the county scheduled 1,200 EMS workers and firefighters for vaccinations. Only 900 showed up, so there is that reluctance still there. Dr. Jonathan Lovey, who works at Beaumont Trenton, vlogged about what getting the vaccine has been like for him, hoping to help people overcome any reluctance. He says it felt similar to getting a flu shot. He is thinking of the patients he has lost to COVID-19 as he shares. When they come in with COVID, it gives us as physicians such a sense of helplessness. For me, this was finally a, a, a time when I was getting this vaccine that this is my chance to fight back. Now, Dr. Lovey said he felt nervous before he got the vaccine because he doesn't want to feel sick. He doesn't want to feel nauseous. He said he did have some muscle pain and he felt a little bit of a hot flash here and there, but overall it was no big deal, especially when you consider the risks of the actual virus. Reporting live, Kim Russell, 7 Action News. Kim, thank you for the update there. Story will continue to follow. Meanwhile